Hello, you're watching Studio Ken. Make sure you don't miss any episode of Studio Ken by subscribing to the YouTube channel. To subscribe, search for Studio Ken on YouTube, click subscribe on the bottom right of your screen and set a reminder. You can also watch Studio Ken on Diamond TV on Wednesday at 18.30 and on Saturday at 19 hours. Studio Ken, the home of Kennedy Gondway on YouTube. Most people would agree that finding the perfect gift for your loved one is easier said than done. Anyone with a husband, wife, or partner has at one time or another spent a sleepless night or two wondering just what to buy for the person they love. Step forward, Mlenga Moa, who decided earlier this year to give her husband Benjamin the ultimate life-saving gift, her own kidney. When doctors told her in January last year that both her husband's kidneys were damaged, Mlenga knew that time had come for her to prove that marriage is indeed in sickness and health. She gave him one of her kidneys, and after a successful transplant process in India in May this year, Benjamin is doing well. The couple are my guests on Studio Ken today. Hi, my name is Hope. Enjoy all those great interviews on Studio Ken, but to watch, you need to subscribe, so hit the button now. Mr. and Mrs. Moore, welcome to Studio Ken. Thank you so, so much. Pleasure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll start with you, Mlenga. How hard was the decision to donate one of your kidneys to your husband? Mm, it was not very hard because I'd uh, done some research through Google and I um, looked at the uh, people who had donated and the, state, the, the testimonies people gave. And uh, after the family did their part, and they could not find the match, I said, I am going to do it. This is my husband. Didn't you face any resistance from your family, friends? No, not at all. Was there any time that you thought your own life would be in danger? Because not all operations go well. Yes, I did. I did, because... Uh, uh, yes, I also researched on the side effects, and I will... I, I discovered that you can die. There's also bleeding, but that did not uh, scare me at all. Why? I wanted to save my husband's life. Okay. And with you, Benjamin, when exactly did you discover that you had that problem and as such you needed a transplant? Um, that was last year, January. Yeah, last year, January. How did it happen? Um, I was just feeling tired and I would feel nausea. Um, I had no clue that that was a kidney problem. Not until when uh, I was referred from Kafiwa to go to, to UTH. Uh, that was the first attempt. Uh, I think we were not attended too well. So the second attempt is uh, when I, I got quite seriously ill. We went to Kafiwa and then we were referred to UTH, but we said, uh, I think let's go first to Coptic because the reception was not uh, well at first at UTH. What exactly happened? Well, the front desk we found the general doctors. Uh, um, all they did was, ah, no, you'll be fine, and then we got discharged. So um, not until the second time when we had gone to Coptic, uh, when they told us that, uh, no, the kidneys are not okay, um, we couldn't believe it until we said, no, we need to seek a second opinion from UTH. And how was the news finally delivered to you? Were you cancelled? Were you told uh, to expect anything? Or it was just broken like that? Unfortunately, that doctor we found, when he just looked at the results and just said, I'm sorry, my friend, there's nothing I can do. Both of your kidneys are damaged. There was no cancelling. And, uh, you know, when somebody mentions your kidneys are damaged, uh, you feel like you are dying tomorrow. Yeah, so he said, no, uh, I need to refer you to a senior doctor. So that was, should be in the afternoon. So we went for lunch with my wife. Uh, that was the worst lunch I've ever had. Uh, I started imagining, imagining things and I told my wife at one point, 
please take care of my children. And we all broke down. Uh, it's a worst moment that I have ever had in my life. And how easy has it been for you to overcome that? Um, what do you mean? How easy was it for you to overcome the news that we were just given? Well, it took a bit of time. And um, at that time, my mother and the young sister were, they were around. So we found it very difficult to break the news. Yeah, because uh, just like I said, breaking the news of a kidney, you know, it's, it's like you are telling someone, I'm dying. And um, we, we took the courage, though we were quite nervous. We told them this is the situation that we are told. But both of us were not convinced. We are not, still not convinced until we said we need to seek a second opinion from uh, the higher uh, hospital, which is UTH. And what was the reaction of your relatives, your kids, the moment you told them? By then we had not told our children. We had not told our children, so um, I think we told our children later on. Um, the reaction was, uh, I think they are, they are small, but the older one knew what was happening. So I remember at one point when he mentioned, we had the two of us in the car, and he said, Daddy, can I donate a kidney to you? He has never seen me cry, I broke down. For a kid to tell you, can I donate a kidney to you? He's a 10 year old boy. I started imagining what is running in his mind. There are kids that are so closer to me would for play and so on. So I started imagining things. It was an emotional time. I told him, no, you're too young, you can't, you can't, yeah. Mlenga, you yeah. promised each other with uh, Benjamin that in health and in good times, you'll be around each other. But you've had to live by those words. You've proven that those words were not just empty words. Tell me more about that. For better, for worse, yes. We have to keep the vows when one is sick, it's not the time to run away, but we have to be there for each other. That's what the Bible says. A man and a woman shall leave their father's house and become one. And had to fight for him, for better, for worse. Not all couples fight for each other. Yes, not all couples do that. But I had to do it. I had to save his life. Because as a Christian, that is my responsibility. Yes. There's literally a part of you in your husband's body mm -hmm. right now. Yes. How does that make you feel? Hmm. The bond now is too much. <laughs> 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 we are now close to each other so much by living in each other yes uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay did you ever foresee such a situation occurring at the time that we're getting married no no because uh, oh, when you're getting married yes the pastor will say for better for worse but that for better for worse it is not in your mind at that particular time until you are in it yes and benjamin there's a part of your wife in you how does that make you feel as well um she's, she's no longer a wife i would say so um the bond has become stronger um we normally call each other uh, we are twins <laughs> <laughs> we are twins yes. um I, I want to recall when she told me that um she wants to donate a kidney to me. It was in the morning when I was going for dialysis. And you know, I used to go at 02 a.m. in the morning. I'll start off from here. And then you reach UTH around um, 03. So when I woke up, I was very low. And then she said, 
why are you looking like this? I said, I'm tired. And then she told me, don't worry. Actually, I, I was about to tell you that I'm actually your donor. I'm the one who's going to give you the kidney. I didn't say anything. I was shocked. Um, I didn't answer until when I left for UTH. When I came back, I said, are you serious? She said, yes. I was mouthless. I didn't know what to say. Yeah, I just said, thank you, honey. Thank you. But I think we need to ask mom and dad whether you are, this is OK. Yeah. Let me put you on the spot, the both of you. You talk about the bond being stronger because of her having donated yeah. her kidney to you. Yes. You've got kids, OK? That is another bond. Which bond is stronger? The one where you live with her kidney or the one where you've got kids together? <laughs> well, it's both. Both? <laughs> yeah. If you were to pick on one, which one is more special than the other? <laughs> you, you know the way we play with our kids. Uh, it's, it's like we are friends. Mm. Yeah, but of course they will know that now, this time around, daddy is playing his role. Mm. Mommy is playing her role. Mm. But when it comes to... Fellowship at home, we we'll play around, they are so free, they will tell you, daddy this, daddy this. But now when it comes to us, the two of us, mm -hmm. I think we have reached a level where I think there is nothing that we should hide from each other. We are just so close to each other now. When the other one is not around, you, you know, you, you feel, you know, there is something missing here. But what I mean is that you've got children. Yes. That's a part of you yes. and her in those children. Yes. Okay. So between the children that you've got mm -hmm. and the kidney that she's given you, which bond is stronger? To me, to me, <laughs> to me, she's a jewel. Now the bond. Now between. Be, be, yes, it's it's the, the bond is stronger. I don't know how I can put it, uh, Kennedy, but the bond is stronger than it was before, mm -hmm. because this is another life that she has given me. Mm -hmm. I was in the blink of dying. Yeah. Now this is the second chance of life, so uh, I don't know how I can put it, but to me. She we has put her life. Yes, we are connected. We are connected to each other. Th 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 other than you being connected yeah. through the children. Yes. Mm. yes. Okay. Mm. Mlenga, before you gave him your kidney, what presents or present topped everything that you had done for him before then? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bought him shirts and shoes. From, from what shop is that? Nah, there are so many. <laughs> so many. You so can't many. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, because I remember at one point she even bought a suit. So, <laughs> so she's talking about shirts. <laughs> but did you ever at any point think that a part of your body would go into his? Uh, no. Not at all. Because by then we are all fine. There was no problem. Uh -huh. Not until the problem came. Mm. And Benjamin, do you remember some of the things that she did for you before the kidney donation? Uh, like what? The, some of the presents that she gave you. What oh, yeah. would you say before the kidney oh, yeah. donation uh, she did that impressed you the most? The most important thing that I cherish from her is she, she gives me attention. She, she knows my moods, she knows what I eat, you know. And uh, to me, the presence wouldn't matter, but her presence and uh, the treatment that she gives me value most. And Mlenga, how has your relationship, your marriage, evolved from the time that you gave him your kidney? It has reached another level. What level is that? Mm, too much missing each other? Yeah. Uh, we text each other, missing you, missing you too. Mm -hmm. when, Eating together. Okay. Mm -hmm. When those, mm -hmm. some of those things happening before you gave him your kidney? Yes. Okay. Yes. We How has your that. body, how has your body reacted from the time that one kidney was taken away from, from you? Mm. Has there been any difference? No. No. And how about but you? I, I had... That feeling, the that same day when when I when I was in ICU after everything was done, 
then that uh, uh, medicine, Oriom uh, Tewapela to sleep. When it was now finishing, my body was coming to normal. I felt something has been removed. But yeah, I feel pain. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, Benjamin, how has your body reacted? Um, you know, I was on dialysis for a year. And the, the life was adjusted to the dialysis life, you know. Um, so after the, the transplant, the surgery, um, yeah, I could feel there's something in the body on my right side. Um, and then because of the, the pain, yeah, but I would feel there's something. So even the movements of the body, I would be so careful to, 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 no, to stand and sit. But I think it was just for a little while. And now life is, is back to normal. I guess a question that most people would want answered is what happens in the event of a divorce. I pray that two people don't divorce, but life is very, very unpredictable. Yeah. Mulenga, would you be asking for your kidney back? No, no. Jesus came and died for us. And that is what I've done. I died a little for my husband. That is what the Bible says. When you go to First John, 3 verse 16, it says, that is how we know what love is. is. Because Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to do the same to our brothers, sisters, our brethren. What you say is true. Uh, Bible teachings are taught to us mm -hmm. almost every day. Mm -hmm. uh, but to live and to fear. If yes. To feel a change. Feel a change life yes. feel up unpredictable. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's why in day position. Mm -hmm. Tam ton ton po one day at uh, maybe ukti wan shabalo me bandi. Ah, we. Tam shabalo po na mwani zi. Nga ya kaya. Akaya. Akaya kaya yumwe no kopi. That's really funny. Okay. How about you, Benjamin? How, how do you feel? I mean, life can be quite unpredictable. There may just be another lady that may confuse you and say, ah, look. Well, um, for better, for worse, mm. she has demonstrated to me. Mm. And uh, to me, this is the greatest present ever. Mm. And that would be a foolish of me. Somebody gives you another chance of life and then you leave someone. Mm. I think that would be the worst and stupid thing ever to do. How have your friends and uh, family reacted to this good gesture from her? Especially my family. They are so grateful. Um, initially, it was my brother who was supposed to have given me, but the match wasn't there. We tried, my cousin came on board, it couldn't work. Uh, equally a nephew of mine, there were three. Yeah, it couldn't work out. Um, so they, they owe it all to her, you know. They, they say she's our queen. They say she's our queen. She has done the most ever present in our lives. Yeah, so it's to, to, for me to have a second chance of life, it's, it's a miracle. Some people tend to remind a person that they've helped, mm -hmm. um, especially in this case where you owe your life to her, literally. Mm -hmm. That had it not been for me, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have been where you are. Yeah. And there are times where you have misunderstandings in your marriage, and then she comes to you and says, hey, watch out, otherwise you would have been dead by now. Not at all as that question. Uh, popped up where she said, no, had it not been for me, no, not at all. Um, Mulenga gave me her part of the organ heartedly. And uh, I treasure her, I call her my jewel. And when you arrived in India, mm -hmm. were there any moments where you'd think that maybe you won't come back alive from, from there? We've had situations where people have gone to India and they come back dead. Yeah. Well, um, such things, they do run in our, in our minds. Um, I remember when we were there, because we, we reached India at a time when there was COVID. And the town where we went to, that was the very day when we arrived, they recorded the first case. And uh, we were put under quarantine for 14 days. 
and before the quarantine would finish, the, there was lock, uh, national lockdown. Um, now, I was on dialysis. Uh, so, uh, we know when they're doing dialysis, it's either they will remove a lot of fluids from you or less fluids. So, I, I, I had a point where they had removed a lot of fluids and uh, I started having blackouts. And uh, at one point, I was even in ICU. Uh, I started imagining now, should I go back home in a cargo way or, you know, such things? Yes, such questions were running in my mind. Mlenga, haven't you had uh, instances where your friends, close friends or family would come to you and say, you shouldn't have done that, this man may leave you one day? No, not even one person. If they were to come to you, Mukabe Washan? <laughs> and with you, Benjamin, uh -huh. I'm imagining that Mlenga doesn't have to fight hard to give you any present or something. Nothing will ever top this. Will there be anything in your view? Children she's given you. Yeah. Kidney she's given she you. Given what else would be this? And there's nothing. I mean, she has given me life. She's given me life, and I, I owe it all to her. I, I appreciate my wife, and uh, well, this is another life. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, Lenga, what word of advice would you give to couples or people in similar situations? They have to show love to each other and uh, to be strong for each other. Mm. Stick to the vows for better for worse. Yes. Benjamin, what's your word of advice? Um, I know the moment you, you mentioned the issue of uh, she's my donor, even the face of that person you are narrating changes. Um, we are living a normal life, just like those who have two organs, the, the, the kidneys rather. Um, the word of advice is Faithfulness pays. I think it's, it's, it's a word of faithfulness to each other and supporting each other in joy, in illness, uh, in all situations. Uh, when we made those vows, I think it was not just a matter of uh, vows and so on, but uh, I think we faced now reality of life. Uh, of course, yes, my relatives came in, but I think now, this was reality. My wife had no choice but to give me uh, the kidney. One shark for singing, eh? So it's, 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 it's reality of life now. Uh, we have become one. And uh, I, I think after this, we, we talk about it and we laugh about it. It's a past thing. Yeah. You two are clearly a very, very happy couple together. And Studio Ken would like to wish you many, many happy years ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ken, for coming to interview us. We are excited and uh, we want to share the experience to others who may be in a similar situation like we had. Thank you. Thank you very much for agreeing to be interviewed. Hi, my name is Hope. Enjoy all those great interviews on Studio Ken. But to watch, you need to subscribe. So hit the button now.